Wait, wait. So if you can't kill them, do you think that it's that you're a hypocrite if you pay for someone else to kill them and eat them? Now yeah, that's interesting. So it's all just local, local sort of family farms yeah. here. I would like to see. I would like to see what goes on behind these walls, but we'll have to wait for that. This week's beef is supplied by Mr. Evans of Warmingford, Colchester. It's about a 30 minute drive, pretty local. Local enough, how local to, for it to be local? Um, okay, so, hello. You know you think it is Monday today, the butchers are not open. Perhaps open. Why aren't the butchers open today? No, What's going on? They never do open on a Monday. They never open on a Monday? No, love. Oh, okay. They are very good butchers. Oh, really? Local? But, yeah, that is local. It's all humane, would you say? Well, yeah, to a certain extent, I expect. <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. You don't think it sounds good to have a humane in front of a slaughter? Um, yeah, then those words match. Not really, do they? <laughs> they don't. It's not really humane, is it? No. Okay. No. So it's inhumane meat, would you say? Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> um, the, uh, but it's very good and it's local meat. Local? Uh, yeah, um, well, you know, as local as you can, but... Do you know where the, there's a local slaughterhouse as well? Did you know that? There's one... It's called Byford. Yes, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of that slaughterhouse? You reckon it's all, all nice in there? I don't know, I've never been in it. Okay. I've, uh, I'm a bit... I suppose... I don't think I can watch them being done, even though I'm not squeamish. Yeah. yeah. Mind you, there's a few humans I'd like to slaughter, yes. Oh, really? <laughs> not some nasty ones, maybe? Yes. They're, what about the animals? They're not nasty. No, we are the worst things around. We're bad to them, aren't we? We are the worst animal going. Yeah. You've only got to go the, into the zoo, or there used to be in Gold's Zoo. There's an end door, you open it up, and it said the most dangerous animal in the world, and it's a human it's being. Human being? Yeah. They only kill for food. Yeah, but no, cows cows don't actually, do they? No. The lambs don't actually either, do they? No, they don't. Oh, no, no. They, don't, they eat grass, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, but we, we still kill them, don't we? They're just chilling. They didn't know, do anything know, wrong to us. Shame. You like our camera? I do. Yeah, it's got a big lens on it, so we can zoom in on, on slaughterhouses and see if the what animals are... are you on safe? Ah, we're, just, we're just looking at local slaughterhouses and see if they're any better than um, in, in, in bigger ones or like seeing if they're generally like humane, like they say, you know? Right. Because they tell us that it's humane or something like this, and I, I don't think a slaughterhouse is humane. I don't know if it is. Well, where is it they, they cut their throats and let them drain? Yeah, well, they put them in a, in a box and then a, a knock box, and then they shoot them in the in his head, but... Yeah, but the uh, cows, aren't they supposed to somewhere here? They yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the, they, they, the, the cow, when they go in the knock box, can see all other cows chopped up, and they get scared, and they try to escape the, the box. Uh, well, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the, the lady at the slaughterhouse told me that it's all humane, they don't know what's going on. No, I can't, I can't handle that. All right, if a cow's got to be killed, it doesn't need to watch other cows. Once that's gone, move yeah. and then get another, you know what I mean? Would you, would you think it would be humane if they didn't see the other cows? Yeah. It would it, be it, humane. It would be better. It would yeah. be better, but would it be good? Well, none of it's good, really. We, mm -hmm. I mean, all right, we're not all going to go back to eating grass. Because, mm -hmm. all right, me personally, I don't eat much meat at all. I've never been a bit, in a state I wouldn't give you thank you for. You know, my daughter and granddaughters, I mean, do they have a good vet, they get out off the plate again sort of thing, they eat it that, ugh. What if I told you I don't eat anything that comes from an animal at all? Don't you, my daughter's vegan. Is she? Yeah, well, the one that's just gone, yeah. Where is she? She's gone, she's going back up the stock. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. She's vegan. Oh, done. Why aren't you vegan then? You hate animals being killed? You don't no, like it? No, I like cheese and I like milk and that sort of thing, so. You I know, eat... they, they go to the slaughterhouse too, you know, those cows. <laughs> Did you know that? Did I'll your daughter eat, tell you? Um, a little bit of, I'll eat perhaps a little bit of chicken, it doesn't bother me. The meat doesn't bother me, you know? You know, you, you could give it up easily, you're saying. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. bother me at all. If you had to slaughter the chickens yourself, would you give it up? I can't slaughter the chickens. Wait, wait, <laughs> so if you can't kill them, do you think that it's that you're a hypocrite if you pay for someone else to kill them and eat them? I suppose it would be if you've got a business, on it? Yeah. But like, you, like, say, you're against animals being killed, like, in your heart, you think it's bad, but you pay someone else to, to kill the animals so you can eat them. Well, you're not really better off, then. Sorry? You're not, you're, 
that is you, a hypocrite. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's. I'm asking if, yeah. you, like, you, you know, that's yeah. you're contradicting. You're contradicting your yes, morals I when you do that. I, yeah. I mean, yes, I've eaten pheasant when I was younger and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but never been what I call a big meat eater. Yeah. But then my mum wasn't, you know. So, so then, well then, well then, if it's if you're only doing it a little bit, then a little bit of killing you can just stop doing. Yeah, you can kill. So I'm it's going to be easy for you. Am I? Yeah, but you're paying someone else to do the killing. I'm getting it from a bloody supermarket. Yeah, here. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they and they go and pay the slaughterhouse to kill and yeah, the animals. Do, yeah. Oh no, if they're humanely killed, if they've got to be killed, that's we just okay. we just talked about this, but yeah. they don't have to be killed, do they? Well, is everybody going to give up meat or they're not? But you, I'm just talk, talking to you because you seem really nice. Not everyone is nice like you, <laughs> so I wouldn't be talking to them. Crazy. I don't talk to not nice people, but don't you be, are you're nice you enough. Dear. So thank you. I think you're nice enough to stop paying for the animals to be killed, maybe. Yeah, yeah but I'm daft enough, aren't I? Oh, you're good. You're a good-hearted person. So. Well, to make good heart soft. <laughs> no, so am I. Well, that doesn't matter. No, you can't. It's good. Good to have a soft heart. To work, I? Okay, you get to work. In the charity but, shop. But you talk to your daughter about being vegan. So you say, she hey, look, what's all, what's all this Say, what's all this vegan stuff? Tell me how, what to do. My mum's vegan now. She's, uh, she doesn't have, so we have to, she won't drink milk, so she has... Soy or coffee. oat milk? No, she doesn't, so she has um, the powdered milk in coffee. Oh, does coffee, she? mate, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Um, so she doesn't eat cheese. vegan cheese? Vegan cheese, yeah. Vegan cheese? So at the moment, Ben and I have had both daughters there. One went back yesterday, yeah. and the other went back. So I've still got some vegan um, chicken kiev. Oh yeah, vegan nice. Chicken kiev. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean, don't you? Have you tried it? You well, should try it. Well, she, she's good. eaten one, and she's left the other one for me to finish up. <laughs> so I've got some. There you go. <laughs> Leave the chickens alone. You got a vegan chicken kiev now. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> All right. Um, Oh, no, no, just, no, that's fine. We won't put it on TV. We'll put it on um, YouTube, on the internet, yeah. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone, be, you're so lovely, everyone will be very nice to you, I'm sure. They'll just think you're just the loveliest lady. Okay, so as butchers like this one here, that you might see just peppered around local towns, that animals will come out of a slaughterhouse like the one that we just showed you, get chopped up and sold here. See, so just not too far away, just animals grazing out on the land, you know, often can't speak for the chickens because really most chickens are factory farmed. Most pigs are factory farmed, but let's just say there was a free range pig, some free range sheep, you know. They go into that place, slaughterhouse, get chopped up into pieces. And most people just completely oblivious to what goes on. They don't question it. They don't question it. But it says up here, buy with confidence, you know, quality lamb. Our local slaughterhouse is humane. That's the question. All right, so here we are. We're in Costa Coffee. We have an oat milk latte, so no cows slaughtered. I got from Subway a vegan beef, you know, local vegan beef from Subway. Here we go. Mm. Mm. We have a little plant-based little Bosch slice here. See, no one had to go into the knockbox and be shot in the head. It wasn't necessary. And if it's completely needless and you kill an animal against their will, it can never be humane. Mm. 